guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. Um, had a lot of stuff going on with, with work and found the stuff needed to get done. Finally getting a minute to, uh, to goof with the car. LS Fast is coming up. Uh, May 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Um, so we'll be, down in, we'll be down in LS Fest. Birthday weekend, I'll be 45. And um, we thought we were gonna have this thing ready in time, but I'm gonna listen to my guy, Bill. And uh, he said if it's not, he hasn't had a chance to throw it on the dyno right now this week. And if we don't have time to get on there and double check, triple check everything, it's not, it's not worth taking. I'm gonna make sure it's 100% before I, before I take it down there. We've been having misfires, quite a few of them, um, all the way back to January. I've been chasing it down when I raised the truck, when I was down in Tucson for streetcar takeover, and we replaced coils, replaced uh, wires, replaced uh, plugs, um, and still could not find out what the hell was going on. And um, it was only happening on the big end, high boost, um, doing big pulls. So go through on the dyno, one little pull, one gear, had like 70 or 80 misfires. So, and it's only at the high boost. And it didn't do it early on. The springs were, I guess, weak, the valve springs. That's, bottom line, the valve springs were the problem. Um, uh, they did not get swapped when the motor was done and the heads, the valve seat was fixed. I, I thought they would let me know if the valve springs were bad because I would have done it right then. Obviously, they're in it, do it. So, happening is, originally when it was tuned, the boost, you only get a certain amount of PSI on the dyno, you get more on the street. So, we didn't see the misses. So, when I started running the street, more and more of the valve springs started getting looser. The more boost you have, um, in the cold air in the winter, it was starting to miss. So, finally figured that out, got the valve springs replaced. And so it should be 100%. So before LS Fest, we, um, I pulled out the supercharger, took that down to uh, ESS tuning, and one of them, well, they wanted to as well. Go through it, take a look. It's a prototype wheel on that G3, and they just wanted to check and see what kind of wear it had on it, see how it looked, see what the bearings were like, um, just make sure everything was, is as good as they thought they'd be. And that's good. So, um, supercharger should be done today to pick back up, and then I'll throw it back in the car. But one of the problems we also had is fueling. We've been fighting fueling, fighting it. We have dual meth injectors. Um, we actually just went to two 15s in there. Um, I had had the, uh, the injectors opened up. They were supposed to be flowing about 12, 50 cc's. And I just had those checked as well. They're only flowing maybe 1,050 or so. So we've been fighting fuel this whole time too. That's why we've had to spray a lot of math. So, um, got Bosch 2200s coming for this. They'll be here Friday. So without testing on the dyno, making sure that the valve springs are perfect, the car is perfect, we got more fuel. Without having that ready, um, there's no use taking it out. If it's not 100%, you don't wanna hurt it. It's not worth it. So still have street tires on here. I have not had the drag tires on here since uh, mid-February for a uh, streetcar takeover in Tucson. It's, it's just been I've, been, I've been too busy. Just haven't had time. So <clears throat> updates coming. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull the front bumper cover off. And as you can see, we're unbelievably limited for space in here. Um, we're getting very limited cooling for the radiator. So we do, <sighs> gotta pull this cover off, get those flaps out, open it up to get more flow. I'm also gonna cut off part of that brace that's up there and uh, move, open that up a little bit to get more air for the intercooler. Put a couple dams in there put a couple dams in there to help funnel the air back to the radiator. Uh, the intercooler blocks so much of the radiator air. So we're gonna open that up. And I'm still debating on whether we're gonna open up the hood 
or this faux vent up in here and have it uh, opened up to get more air into the supercharger. We may do that still, but, um, but I need to get more air in there. It's getting summertime here in AZ, so I'm not gonna run it. I, they got other things to do for the summer, but I do need more air for that intercooler and for the radiator anyways. Uh, eventually, you're gonna need to get some, uh, I think it's Pro Speed, Pro Source, Pro, one of those guys. They have an unbelievable fan setup for the radiator, so I'll hopefully someday get a set of those as well. But car's ready, I mean, it's, without testing it, it's just not worth it going down there. So, we're gonna meet some awesome people down in, uh, in Vegas, in LS Fest. Um, we had some good races lined up for the car, uh, so sorry Vegas guys, I wish I wish it was ready for you guys. But there'll be some other guys from AZ coming. Um, I'll go support them. You know, we got a lot of guys here that we that we race and run against and, and have fun and jab at each other, but we're going out of town. So I'm, I'm gonna root for my guys here from AZ and, and hopefully get some good runs down there. I'll get some videos of, uh, of at the track stuff and then Mexico stuff after we'll head down there and uh, We'll have some fun. Um, we have at least five or six cars that I know of coming. Some dig cars. I don't think any big roll cars are coming. There might be, um, but I think they like digs out there. So that's cool. It'll be good videos. Um, we got Owen from Hawkspeed Custom coming up from Tucson, um, Sierra Vista area. So we'll meet up out there. We'll have a good time, get some video, and uh, I'll, I'll make some video posted up for you guys. So car will be getting dialed in um, mid May ish. Should have me some time on the dyno, the injectors. Check it all out, make sure everything's good. And um, other good news is we're going back to the original pulley on the car, the 3.3. Uh, so with more fuel, the 3.3 pulley, um, it, it should be pretty nasty. And then um, I'll work on the front end, get some, uh, get some more ventilation coming open it up and cut up some of that uh, some of that brace up there. And if I have to reinforce it, I will. Um, but we need more air. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, sorry I haven't made any videos, if you care or not, whatever. But we'll, we'll get some more stuff in there from LS Fest. And that is, uh, like I said, third, fourth, fifth. So next weekend, we'll see you guys.